tight end 12, and Noah Fant of the Denver Broncos. Um, the the key word last year for Noah Fant was just inconsistency. Um, he had those two huge games, the three for 115 and the four for 113, a touchdown in each, um, where he was terrific. And he was terrific in a lot of other games. I mean, you know, he had the four for 60, the two for 56, um, even the three for 37. You're, you're okay with that from a rookie tight end. Uh, just the three touchdowns, which was a concern considering he was getting all the snaps at tight end and we expected him to be a bit more of a red zone threat with that size. Uh, but once Drew Locke came in and locked down that starting spot, that's when we saw Fant have his big games. Um, you know, and, and outside of those two games, though, he was just okay. He, he still had a 3 for 14, 1 for 5, 2 for 10, 1 for 4. And if you are going to be a tight end one, as I expect him to be this year by this ranking 12, then you have to cut those games out. You have to get those up to where you're at least, you know, getting four or five catches for 50 to 60 yards if you're gonna be a tight end one. And I think he'll do that this year. They actually, they brought in Melvin Gordon, a much better running game. They were fine last year with, with Lindsey and, and Royce Freeman, but we all know Melvin Gordon adds another dimension that those two don't. Um, it's Cortland Sutton, Jerry Judy, those guys, Corlin Sutton was amazing last year. Jerry Judy comes in as one of the best college receivers, so more room probably for Fant to operate in the middle, down the hash. Uh, I, I, I fully expect him to find that consistency this year. Drew Locke coming in, all that continuity, same coaching staff. I think this Denver offense will be vastly improved from last year, kind of what we saw towards the end of last year when, when they were pretty good, and I expect Noah Fant to be a direct beneficiary of that.